I'm James Quirk from Inkish TV, reporting from Label Expo Americas 2024. We're on the Kurtz booth, and I'm talking to Michael Arman, who is the Global Director of Digital Embellishment for Kurtz. Hello, Michael. Nice to meet you. It is great to meet you. Uh, thank you for your time. We're interested to find out a little bit about what you're showing here at the show this week in Chicago, um, and what are the latest developments from Kurtz, particularly in the digital embellishment area. Yeah. Well, we're excited that at Label Expo 2024, it's the first time that we've had our 3D inkjet technology on display in North America. I uh, had the opportunity to do this last year at Label Expo in Brussels, but this is the first time we've had our 3D uh, technology on display here in the United States. And so what's the difference uh, in terms of you know, the, you, the 3D technology compared to the previous iteration? What, what's the new development? Yeah, so we have two different technologies. One is 2D. Uh, what it allows you to do is go on to multiple substrates. That's the advantage of that technology. 3D allows us to get that tactile feel and a uh, little bit more of what some customers say to me, the bling, yeah. right? So uh, high gloss, high build, spot UV effects, but also uh, metalized layers that are built up as well so that you have that tactile 3D feel. So what are the sort of technical challenges of Kurtz in terms of making that, that, that new step in terms of the 3D right. technology? So I think the biggest technical challenge that we've tried to overcome is how do you bring that technology to a place where it is industrial, mm -hmm. right? So we've seen digital embellishment now in the market for some years. Sure. We've had early adopters who've grabbed it and started to build uh, some strength with brands who like the look. But now those brands are saying, we want to make that a bigger piece. We, we need more volume. Yeah. And the challenge then is how do you do that from an industrial standpoint? So what we've tried to do is bring a machine to the market that has a top end speed of 100 meters a minute so that we can be real competitive from a performance standpoint there. Uh, the other side is uh, when we look at 3D technology, there's a limitation to it that it needs to be on a coated stock, right? If we're gonna print onto the substrate, if it's an open structured stock, kind of soaks into that substrate and we don't get nearly the type of quality we would want. So making sure that we advise customers that this type of technology really needs to be on some type of a coated material, uh, but also that we can go to a pretty good performance speed and, and then uh, you know that's all with really high output quality. And what kind of profile of, of, of converter is buying this type of equipment and what are they, what applications are they using it for? Well, it's those converters that are connected to brands that see value in embellishment. So where do we see a lot of those? We see them in the wine and spirits industry. We see them in health and beauty. Uh, we see them certainly in the cannabis industry, uh, nutraceutical type things. These are all places where people really like the, uh, the embellishments that draw people to them, sometimes maybe bring a little bit more value to a product, and in some cases bring even some security aspects to it. And Kurtz, I suppose, is quite unique in the market in so much as that you're, you're manufacturing the, the, the machines, the, the digital embellishment machines, but also obviously the transfer materials. Um, what kind of advantage does that bring you, do you think, in the market? Well, you know, what I like to call it is it's system matched, right? We're not going out and guessing on what would be the correct transfer foil for this type of application. We've developed the foil specifically for it. Uh, same with the adhesives. So you've got some really smart people who are my colleagues who develop those things, but they develop it with this particular product in mind. And what are your expectations uh, for Label Expo Americas this week? And what kind of response are you getting so far uh, from visitors to your booth? Yeah, you know, the good news for us right now, we're in a great place because digital embellishment is a hot topic, right? It can, sure. continues to be a hot topic. Why? I think the biggest reason why is it drives profit in a traditional print job, right? If you can bring an embellishment, you can charge more for it. It's one of those places left in our business where you can drive profit. It's about shelf appeal and, and helping the, the customer pick certain products off the shelf. Exactly. So uh, with that, there's a lot of interest in it today. 
Sure, I imagine that this is a, uh, a, a huge growth area, I guess, for the company. It really is, yep, yep. Brilliant, well, thank you so much for your time and I uh, hope you have a great rest of the show. I appreciate it, it's a pleasure meeting you.